important is what goes on among the delegates, the capitular fathers, but you know, able to help them do their work, we need lots of people helping behind the scenes. Some of the people that we need to help behind the scenes are translators and interpreters, interpreters being the people who simultaneously translate what's being said. While we have people coming from all over the world, maybe over a hundred countries, um, everything that goes on in official business of the chapter is in three languages, English, Spanish and French. translating from French to the Capitular Fathers are working on, in their commissions, on the major issues that the chapter is supposed to face. When they, these commissions have completed part of their discussions, they produce documents. Once that document is received, of course, we need to have it translated uh, as quickly as possible into the other two official languages. So we have a group of translators and we have a room, an office set aside for them and they have to spend all manner of hours trying to get these translations because it's very important for the commission members and for all the Capitular Fathers to be able to read in one of the official languages that they are most able uh, to understand. Another area where we need to have assistance for the, to, in order for the general chapter to function well, because it's our priority of course when we come together is to pray together, so we have to have a person who is the master of ceremonies, of the liturgical ceremonies. So he has to prepare who's going to celebrate the, the liturgies in the day, and of course that, like everything else in the chapter, takes place in three languages. <laughs> Another area where we need vaccine work from the brothers is in communication. Well, my job as chronicler is to try and give some human interest to what's going on here. I try to tell stories about the chapter to involve other members of the order, sisters, brothers and laity, so that they can feel drawn and involved in it and pray for us as well. So I explain both the uh, official events, what's going on, and the fact that we have commission meetings and plenary sessions. But mm -hmm. in addition, I also uh, interview the brothers and the other capitulars who are here. And I interview them to find out about their ministry, their work, how they live as Dominicans in their part of the world. One of the beautiful things about the general chapter is that we are here together as one family and we are able to share with the world, with the entire Dominican family and the rest of the church, what we do, all our different ministries and the challenges as well of preaching the gospel today.